Hello everyone, here we are back again for another Promax Platform Workflow Tip. Today we're going to look at the advantages of doing a file ingest with a platform task, where you can offload the workstation by connecting external storage directly to the server. This allows the workstation to continue to be used for editing and working on projects, and not use up your available bandwidth with the ingest process. Like anyone in production, we're always getting a variety of file formats delivered on a variety of devices using a variety of file systems. And for this, Platform offers numerous interface options, for example, USB, eSATA, Thunderbolt, and Firewire. And any of these can be using file systems such as HFS, HFS+, FAT, FAT32, and DXFAT. And from a Mac or PC, you can control the Platform server through a simple web interface, executing and monitoring tasks. For this example, we were given a bunch of red footage for an upcoming project. Now, using the platform in a traditional shared storage sense, you can easily mount the platform space and start the file copy to that mount point. But that system is now tasked out and not being used as efficiently as it could. This is how platform solves that problem. In any given platform environment, you have both 10 gig and 1 gig clients. When doing file ingest by connecting external storage to the clients, the overall available bandwidth is hindered making it more difficult to continue working. Since Platform is more flexible than any traditional shared storage, it can be leveraged more efficiently by connecting external devices directly to the server. Let's see how that works. We'll log out as editor and log in as admin. For our file transfer, we simply need to connect the drive to Platform and you can see it show up as a storage group. We create the platform space from the existing directory on the external storage. And now that external storage is available as a platform space. There are a variety of data management tools within platform. For this task, all you need to do is select copy. The source directory is already selected. All you have to do is select the target platform space, specify your speed, and if you want, you can even schedule the event. We can do this at a time, calendar date, whatever you want. We want to do this one immediately. So under Tasks, you can see the task is scheduled. Under Performance, you can see that the CPU usage is almost nothing. And under Storage Groups, you can monitor the activity and see when it completes. Back under the Editor account, you can mount the volume on your Mac or Windows system, and you can see the files being copied over. This allows storage to be used for storage and a workstation to be used for work. Thank you for joining us for this Promax workflow tip.